Ed Reed fired from Bethune Cookman. Or was he? Like, go, I, I'm not quite sure. The whole situation is kind of messy. Hey guys, welcome back to High Top Sports. I'm your host this evening. Show welcome. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, turn the bell on. Without further ado, let's figure this thing out. So Ed Reed was released, not signed. He was stated by Bethune Cookman. I believe that he withdrew his name, but he made it very clear that he did not withdraw his name. Here is a statement that he released. However, after weeks of negotiations, I've been informed that the university won't be ratifying my contract and won't make good on the agreement we had in principle which we have provisions and resources best needed to support the student athlete. I was committed to coaching and cultivating a relationship with the university, players, community, and the fans. It's extremely disappointing that that won't be happening. Although we couldn't make things work at BCU, the goal and mission are all still the same. We serve to lead and serve and lead to serve. He then went live on Instagram where he kind of expressed his entire feelings about the situation. You can tell in the video that he's very upset. He's very frustrated. He's passionate about this situation. Coach Prime even called him and told him how much he loved him. Again, this has been a thing that Coach Prime stated. We talked about it a few days ago when we released the video when Ed Reed went on a rant about Bethune-Cookman and just the professionalism that Bethune-Cookman had been handling himself up until this point. And I said, hey, will Bethune fire him? And I didn't think so. I said, no way, not a chance because they still need Ed if they want to put Bethune-Cookman on the map. You bring Ed, somebody like Ed Reed in to make sure that he can pump up that brand. Well, apparently I was wrong because Bethune-Cookman has decided to move on. And as you can see, Ed is in complete distraught over the situation. That's what I've been telling y'all. Right? Yes, sir. Is that right? Yes, sir. I'm not withdrawing my name as Reggie Thea's ass want me to do. It's bigger than football. Attention. Attention. Teaching these young men about life. They ain't seen the play yet. We don't even have a practice field. Less than a week we've cleared this land, y'all see over here. I see it now because there's two sides to every story. All of, most of you are going to be saying, well, he did it to himself. He, he acted out in rage. He acted like an idiot, made himself a fool the other day with that video. Half of you are going to be supporting him. With this situation, look, I understand with how he handled himself. May have came off a bit unprofessional, but he was just expressing his frustration. Now, again, I get it. There's ways to do it, but you got a guy that's bought in, that's dialed in and wants to make this 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 program successful that has a ton of connections. If you truly care about the kids and you care about the program, my opinion, you look past something like this. Now, again, there is always two sides to every story. And unfortunately, the university is going to be able to put this under the rug because they're going to be able to play the card as if, well, we can't say anything. We're not going to speak out on the matter because we're bigger than that. Well, also not saying anything allows for them to hide behind the curtain. So the only person that can't say anything is Ed Reed. And unfortunately, in this situation, he will still be painted as a bad guy because it's like, well, Ed Reed's crazy. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He's just ranting and raving. He doesn't know what all the ins and outs of Bethune-Cookman. They don't have a practice field. Bethune-Cookman hasn't been anything in how long? At some point, we've got to take a look and see, well, maybe these people that are saying and yelling something and they keep getting canned or keep getting moved on are correct or right. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think down in the comment. I'm sure hopefully more of this will come out. Maybe Ed ends up in Colorado with Coach Prime. What's up, big bro? Hey, I love you, man. You know that, right? That would be a, a, one hell of a news story if it did. Because obviously we know how much uh, Coach Prime loves Ed Reed. And I think uh, if we see the passion and we see what he's able to do, that would be one hell of a pickup for uh, Colorado and, and Dion. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.